welcome to part three of this build, which is the Luke Skywalker lightsaber build. And so, just to recap quickly, we've got all the pieces uh, adjusted to the right size. So they're all sorted now, so everything should go together quite easily, apart from one which I just need to hollow out a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and then we need to do the ribs and cut them all up. So, in part three, we're going to cut all the pieces that we need to cut and have everything ready for the uh, next stage which will be just finishing off a few bits, putting some ribs on and uh, going from there. So uh, follow me over, actually sorry beforehand, safety glasses, remember always be safe if you ever do anything like this, you need some sort of safety gear, don't go without any eye protection because my god you need eye protection, you only have one pair of eyes. So I'll see you over at the next machine. So, uh, one of the things I finished off with in part two was this really nice part. Uh, I really like it, but we need to make this just a fraction bigger so that we can um, put it over the other part. So I'm just going to adjust this now. should be it now. Oh, look at that! It does it perfectly. Yes! We have a success. Really happy with that. And then, yeah, that is fantastic. Now, let's start cutting all these parts up, shall we? Okay, so we're at the meter saw and we have got a number of parts to cut. So we have to cut this part, we have to cut this part which is a pommel, um, I think it's a switch section as well isn't it? Yep so this is a switch section and a pommel so I'm just going to score a new line. Okay so I need a piece of metal.
Okay. Let's mount all. I'll just put that at the back. So here's the main core. This is going to be the ribs, so we'll put that on there first. This is the switch section, so that'll then go on. No, no it's not. That's the switch section, sorry, so that'll go on there. This will go on here as a bit below the switch section. And then this is the pommel here. That'll go on at the base. So we have all the parts lined up, everything's in good alignment. As you can see, there's not really much of a differential gap between these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the sander, I'm going to sand these down. Um, I think, or might, actually I think I'm going to take these to the lathe and actually use a tool to give them a nice clean crisp edge on all of these parts and then use the same tool to do the ribs on here. Yes, that's what we will do. So, the other thing I need to do... Ah, right, so with this part here, uh, for that to go in... No, I've lost that part I needed. Um, oops. Oh, it's here. Right. So that'll go in there. I'm not going to push this on properly because I, I, I want it to be a proper compression fit. So, but it'll give that's that's to give you an idea. And then we put on the uh, other section as well. It should be along those lines. So, let's get these bits uh, cut and uh, edged off, shall we? Right. Right, so we're here now, so I'm going to reduce this in size, so these can fit on. Uh, we want to put this here, tighten that. And then we're going to loosen this and this. I'll put that there. And I have a... A brand new bit. <laughs> I love putting brand new bits on this lathe. And the lathe likes it as well because it's so much happier.
So, we have all the parts done. Haven't done the emitter yet, which you'll notice, but we've got the main body done. So, oh, look at that. So nice. That's a switch. That's the other little bit. That's the pommel. This will fit in here. Oops, hang on. Oh, I want to push it on so much. Well, there we are, guys. Look at that. I'll put some rivets through here. But that's nice. So nice. So, I hope you enjoyed part three. Ah, excellent. So, as I just said, I hope you enjoyed part three. I have to say, guys, that is looking... And, and before anyone says, I know these are 100% perfect. I know they're not all exactly the same width and all exactly in line. Um, but to be honest, I just wanted to jump on a lathe. I just wanted to get this done and have them sorted. This wasn't about making sure they were perfect. It was about just getting the first one of these of mine ever made finished and done almost without the emitter. But, oh, love it! Ah, yeah, part three. Really good episode, I think, for myself. But regardless of what I think, it's what you think. If you have enjoyed this episode and enjoyed episode one and episode two, or part one and part two, and you like part three, Give them a thumbs up, guys. Let people know about them. Share them. I am the only Sabersmith I know of that's actually ever made a full... Or is making a full video on how to make a lightsaber. How to make one of these from just tubes into one of these with a bit of work and let metal lathe and, uh, you know, just some good old-fashioned working. Um, share it around. Tell people. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. And uh, tune in for part four, which will be coming out most probably in a few days time. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.